Elizabeth and I'm Cynthia and today we're going to be doing a follow-up video for the My Makeup Brush set. This one is going to be an actual review. Yes, this is the final review so we're basically letting you guys know basically our thoughts and how we feel about these brushes. So stay tuned for the video. Yeah. Alright. First things first, shipping. So the shipping, I mean, how would you describe the shipping system? Um, when we first, when they first emailed us about whether we wanted to do this review for you guys, um, we went ahead and said, yes, we'll go ahead and do the review because, you know, you know, we never tried these brushes before and we're very interested in to, you know, to try them out. So they emailed us and the first email, it went kind of good and just saying that they were going to send us the brushes and then we never heard back from them. So that was kind of like, Okay, well, that was kind of weird. So I reached out, you know, I reached back out to them and I said, you know, do you guys still want to do the review? And they said, of course. So they went ahead and, you know, gave us a tracking number and then we um, tracked the package and our, the package was already in our PO box and we didn't know it was in our PO box. So we went ahead, um, Liz went to go pick it up from our PO box and she told me the makeup brushes were there and I didn't know they were even there. So we finally got our makeup brushes and it took, it took us a little bit like, like what, a month? To receive it? Yeah. A month, a little while. Like three, three, three weeks. weeks, three, three weeks to a month. So um, shipping is a little, you know, but overall, you know, we'll tell you a little bit, you know, of our experiences yeah. about the brushes. So you know, let Liz tell you about her experience, and then I'll tell you about my experience. All right, great. So yeah, so after we got the brushes, the first thing we did, obviously, we did the unboxing with you guys. You guys can check out that video. I'll leave it somewhere, yeah, somewhere around <laughs> here. I'll make sure you binge watch our videos, and you'll definitely to see that clip but one of the first things that I like to do when I get my brushes is I like to play with the bristles to see if there's any shedding and you know just to kind of feel out the product and I have to say when I first kind of felt the bristles I saw a little bit of like dust coming up from the um, bristles of one of the brushes. brushes so that kind of like was my red flag to make sure it's that I wash these thoroughly with warm water soap and just I pretty much let them soak the amazing part about these brushes is that this handle is plastic so you don't have to worry about not getting water into the bottom of the brush so it doesn't kind of create any extra bacteria or even like end up destroying the brush altogether so I just dumped them all in a little bin with soap and water mild soap and um, we have a video of that as well, <laughs> how to clean your brushes. So after I did that, let them dry and then I was ready to use them. So one of my favorite things about this brush is that it's so compact and dense. When you put product on it and go ahead and put it on your face, it really has like, it holds the product in there and it really puts a lot on your face. So I would probably say to use this sparingly, like very lightly. Um, the first thing that I always try to do is, you know, use this brush for to blend in my foundation. And um, I saw that it moved it around a lot, so I decided to, you know, go back to Old Faithful, which is my beauty blender, of course, from <laughs> La Purple Day. And um, once I used that, I went back in with my powder contour and was able to kind of get a nice and precise finish with the powder instead. Which is a tip that I ended up picking up from you, <laughs> Cynthia. And it ended up giving me a flawless finish. I love these brushes for powder especially. Um, and also they have smaller brushes inside here. Are perfect for contouring just because it's so thin. It um, helps you get into those tight spaces. So I really love my brushes. And um, yeah, I definitely will be using those to apply my contour and my powder. So my turn. So one thing that I love that Liz brought up was that you make sure that you wash your brushes before you even try them on your face. And I don't care where you get your brushes from, make sure you wash them. Every brush that I receive in a package, I make sure I wash them because you really don't know where they're coming from and you don't want to have an allergic reaction to them. So my experience with the brushes is that I was never really into over brushes. She's the one that introduced me to over brushes. Yes. I thought that it made no sense to me because it felt like the over brush would move the product off of my face. I'm very much used to my brushes. I'm very much used to my little pro beauty blender. Like I'm obsessed with my beauty blender. Like why would I use over brushes? Like come on now. So I went ahead and used my over brushes. I I used it like a couple of days after we received our package, and I was just like playing around in my makeup. I went ahead and um, did my under eye concealer, which I used um, LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. And I ended up using like the medium size overbrush. And 
um it was just weird like I feel like it was moving the product but it was moving it it was moving it flawlessly but I just felt like I would have to pack on more of the concealer to actually uh, apply it and I feel like that's wasting product so I went ahead and used my beauty blender so I was thinking you know what I want to experience more of these brushes so let me just use that for my powder so I dipped my my brush into my powder and I ended up you know using the, the, the bigger brush around you know my whole face and that was flawless like these brushes with powder is amazing I want to use it for um, under eye concealer maybe if you use it with your foundation that would work yeah but I don't wear foundation everybody knows me I don't wear foundation I usually use powder on my face and I just use my um, LA Pro concealer under my eyes and then I sit that with my powder so um, these brushes with powder, I'm I'm amazed, like I'm, I'm amazed balls with those, and also <laughs> amazed balls with those. So one of the brushes that I really really like is this small brush right here. I use this to get into the creases to go ahead and contour my nose. And um, I don't like to use it for concealer, but you can go ahead and get into the nitty gritty to get the concealer under your eyes. So if you have fine lines underneath your um, eyes, you can use this, and this will bl like blend it out flawlessly. So that's one of the reasons why I love these over brushes, and I never thought I would love over brushes, so I'm yeah. kind of amazed. <laughs> and another one of the brushes that I really love and appreciate are these small brushes that are kind of circular shaped. I love them for when you're getting into that inner tear duct to put a little bit of a highlight to brighten up the eye. It literally fits perfectly right into that corner, and you can easily just apply it with apply it with this brush and give you a flawless finish. And um, same thing too with these flat brush brushes. You can always dip it into your um, a darker brown shadow or your dip brow, and just brush it up against your eyebrows just to fill it and fill in your eyebrows. I think this would be a perfect tool for that as well because it just really holds the product really well and it just has a comfortable application when you're putting it on. That's what these uh, brushes were meant for, for personal use, so that it should be easier for someone to put makeup on themselves. So I really, really find that um, the shape and the feel of the brushes make for a better application don't you think yeah and they're super affordable like they're like 20 bucks and it comes with 10 pieces so you can go ahead and buy yourself a set and then if you're a makeup artist buy you know another set for your client so you can go ahead and you get that. set you get set you get set. and Christmas is coming like this is super super affordable if you want to go ahead and give these to someone you like, guys look, look at, at all, all the brushes, brushes <laughs> that come in here and um, nine times out of ten you probably won't even end up using all of these brushes to put apply your makeup on so this is a really great value um, because you get to use get all these brushes and get a lot of uses out of them before you even have to clean them I would say yeah so um, yeah definitely check them out I also love that they come in a cute little travel size pouch so everything fits in here nice and comfortably you know, and it comes with a little drawstring, and you're ready to go. Just throw this in your purse or in your travel bag, and um, you can go anywhere with your brushes. It's just amazing. All in all, can't complain. So, Overall review? Thumbs up. Two thumbs up. I can't. Yeah, my nail bro. Her thumb is malfunctioning. <laughs> my nail bro. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> I give this a thumbs up. You guys, we'll go ahead and leave a link in the description box so you guys can get your own. Make sure to go ahead and check out their site because they do have other things on their site as well, not just brushes. So you guys can go ahead and shop there. And make sure you let them know that La Pro Bote sent you. Yeah, make sure you tell them that La Pro Bote sent you. <laughs> Again, if you want to see us do some looks with these, Definitely let us know in the comments. Let us know by liking this video. And um, just let us know what you want to see, what looks you want to see. And we'll be more than happy to film something on how we use our brushes. <laughs> so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Tick marks. <laughs> Bullet points to yeah, go. Yeah, pretty, but we look <laughs> You know, get you some La Pearl hair, you know what I mean? Yeah.